When you live on the internet, as I do, you uh, invariably meet a lot of interesting people, like I've done in the person uh, Time with Megan. I have been watching her channel now for about a year, and I have had absolutely no issues with it. So, if you have a problem, I don't care. <laughs> yeah. Uh, she talked about this whole uh, Chompy the Shark bit. Uh, at first, I just kind of just passed it off and went, mm, interesting. And then I went back and took a second look at it and decided to see if I could follow the link. Because that's the type of thing I do, is that uh, I look at a link or a video, and then I try to backtrace the story to see where the video came from, who put it out, blah, 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 you know, and do a whole background story on it. And this is what I did. This is part of what I do with research, is do these background checks and do these background, uh, background research. And it's basically following links. It's, it's basically a professional version of uh, surfing the internet, if you will, because you don't really have any idea where you're going. You're just simply following the link. Uh, anyways, I follow this back to this guy named Isaac. His last name begins with a B. I'm not going to uh, butcher the name because I'm not really too sure how to say it. So I'm going to leave it at that. Um, and I couldn't figure out why the, t uh, the title was uh, uh, AHTV... Um, uh, it was some type of official channel with something like that uh, that this whole Chompy the Shark thing came out of. But I followed it back. Not only I found his his YouTube channel, which was the AHTV channel, but I found a website called Aqua Hunters. And as I kept following the links and looking at it, because on the sidebar, what happens, these little interesting videos pop up that show other people on kayaks in the middle of the ocean fishing. And it turns out that uh, what these guys have done is they've taken an old hunting technique when people used to go out on a boat. Now, the, only, the closest you can get to this in terms of understanding this, if you're not an old-timer yourself who understands uh, aquatic hunting, the, the, how seafarers used to hunt on the seas, uh, you can go and check out Ernest Hemingway's uh, Old Man in the Sea, and that will give you an idea of exactly what was going on when this guy was out there fishing. Because what happens is that he's not the only guy who goes out on the ocean uh, to do fishing in a kayak. As a matter of fact, it, it, it's becoming a popular extreme sport. And if I didn't follow the background uh, links, sort of let my curiosity wander, I would never, would never have known this. And it actually looks, looks pretty cool. And I am going to go back and watch some more of the videos. There's a, there's a lot of videos out there. It's kind of like... Uh, if you uh, initially look up uh, surfing, you see them small su surfing. The, the, you see surfing these uh, average size waves, but then you get into Billabong, and then after Billabong, you find these Billabong XL. That's these extreme 40-foot waves. That's the cool stuff. So, <laughs> if you follow links through, you can find a lot of really cool stuff on YouTube, and that's what I did. I think this uh, aqua hunting is a really cool thing. I'm really not too sure. Uh, exactly how many people are doing it, but it looks interesting, so I'm going to look into it a little bit more. Anyways, uh, that's it for tonight, and I will see you next comment.